Welcome to South Coast AQMD on the Air's Governing Board Meeting Highlights for May 2015. I'm your host, Philip Crabb. The South Coast Air Quality Management District is the air pollution control agency for all of Orange County and the urban portions of Los Angeles, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties. Home to almost 17 million people, it is the second most populated urban area in the United States and one of the smoggiest. In this program, we're going to highlight the Governing Board's actions to receive the final results of the new Multiple Air Toxics Exposure Study Report, get an update on the preparations for the upcoming 2016 Air Quality Management Plan, and help get more electric vehicle charging stations installed. Air toxics are very powerful hazardous pollutants that are known or suspected to cause cancer or other serious health effects such as reproductive effects, birth defects, and bad environmental effects, such as getting into our groundwater or food chain. South Coast AQMD has long been monitoring the air for toxic air pollution, tracking where it is coming from, and estimating the risks to our health from these pollutants. In 1986, the first multiple air toxics exposure study, which we call the MATES study, was published. This study was followed up with MATES 2 in 2000 and MATES 3 in 2008. Because of what was learned from these studies over the years, South Coast AQMD has been able to take serious measures to protect us from toxic air pollution, such as reducing toxic diesel pollution by promoting cleaner burning engines and the use of other cleaner fuels, and other measures, such as requiring paints and other everyday consumer products to reduce or eliminate toxic chemicals, getting gas stations to control their fumes even more carefully, and requiring dry cleaners to use non-toxic alternatives. The Governing Board heard that the MATES 4 study results have just been completed and that compared to previous studies of air toxics in the basin, this study found air toxics exposure is down by about 57% since the MATES 3 study was published in 2006. So the good news is that all of these efforts are paying off, with the risk of cancer from these chemicals dropping steadily over the years. To view the complete MATES 4 study results in detail, visit our website at aqmd.gov. Since 1979, South Coast AQMD has been developing a series of air quality management plans. These plans are designed to specifically map out direction for the future actions that need to be taken to reduce air pollution in our region. The next update is coming for the year 2016. The board received an update on the progress and status from staff. South Coast AQMD has been working over the last couple of years with representatives from major businesses, small businesses, local government agencies, universities, environmental groups, and the community to develop a series of 10 white papers addressing issues regarding air quality, climate, energy, transportation, and business needs. These white papers describe the air quality challenges ahead and ways to solve them. So far, three draft white papers have been completed and are available for additional comments. Drafts of the remaining white papers are scheduled to be released periodically by early summer and will be used as a foundation for the 2016 Air Quality Management Plan. South Coast AQMD is hosting the 2016 Air Quality Management Plan Control Strategy Symposium on June 10th and 11th, 2015 at our Diamond Bar headquarters. You are welcome to come join us and participate or follow the event as it is live streamed online at our YouTube channel, South Coast AQMD, as well as at aqmd.gov. One of the largest sources of air pollution is transportation, moving things from one place to another, and that includes people. We have to reduce pollution from these sources if we are going to meet federal clean air standards, and we are all going to have to help to make that happen. Large employers, companies that have over 250 people working at one location, are responsible to make up for the pollution their employees create by driving to work and back. Some companies do so by setting up programs to promote and organize ride sharing, bicycle riding, and the use of public transit by their employees. Other companies simply pay a small fee per employee, which is then used to reduce pollution elsewhere, such as providing a discount so that people can get rid of their old polluting lawnmowers and replace them with new, clean, electric battery-powered models. The board heard about a new option being proposed for this program. Larger companies would be able to get some credit by installing electric vehicle charging stations at their businesses. All electric cars are pollution-free and are ideal for commuters, especially if they can charge up at work. Having more charging stations around means more people switching to electric cars, and that means cleaner air for all of us. So the board approved adding this new option and the guidelines on exactly how the program will be offered. 
At their January 2015 meeting, South Coast AQMD's board officially kicked off the Electric Lawnmower Exchange Program by authorizing the purchase of up to 4,000 electric battery-powered lawnmowers at a deep discount to pass the savings on to you. There are only two 2015 Lawnmower Exchange events left. Saturdays, June 13th at Citizens Business Bank Arena in Ontario and June 20th at Santa Anita Park in Arcadia. There are a limited number of mowers available, so pre-register now for the mower of your choice at aqmd.gov forward slash lawnmower or by calling 888-425-6247. Telephone registration is available in English and Spanish. South Coast AQMD's Environmental Justice Community Partnership, in coordination with the Center for Community Action and Environmental Justice, invite you to attend a special presentation of recent studies on children's health and air pollution. Hear from the researchers directly involved in the studies about USC Children's Health Study on the Long-Term Effects of Air Pollution on Respiratory Health of Children and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles Study on Prenatal Exposure to Air Pollution. So join us Wednesday, June 17th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. at Mira Loma Middle School, 5051 Steve Avenue, Harupa Valley. For more information or to RSVP, email ejcp at aqmd.gov or call 909-396-2432. This event is free to attend and there will be refreshments provided. The South Coast AQMD's governing board usually meets at their Diamond Bar headquarters on the first Friday of each month, except August. Our job at South Coast AQMD is to find out where air pollution is coming from, figure out ways to reduce it, and then work together with businesses, lawmakers, scientists, and the community so that we can all have clean, healthy air to breathe. And all this work is under the leadership of a 13-member governing board. Three of the board members are appointed by state elected officials, one by the governor of California, one by the state assembly, and one by the state senate. There are four county supervisors representing Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties. Six are local elected officials, including mayors and council members, representing the cities in each county. You are always welcome to come join us and participate or follow the meeting as it is live streamed online at our YouTube channel, South Coast AQMD and aqmd.gov. Past meetings, agendas, and information on each item can also be found on our website. We encourage you to get connected to South Coast AQMD. Check out our apps for smartphones and iPads. We have a bi-monthly publication called the Digital Advisor that can be read online or on our interactive iPad app that you can download from the App Store. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Visit us at aqmd.gov to learn more about how you can help us clean the air that we breathe. I'm Philip Crabb. Thank you for watching South Coast AQMD on the air. See you next month. Let's work together.